They had success early today as well. Um, you know, I don't know. You know, today was a, a big day in, in Milwaukee, um, National Marquette Day. You know, the anticipation, the sellout. Um, I think, you know, we just kind of had to get our feet a little bit wet for real. Um, let our emotions calm down. Um, even in our huddles, we was, you know, talking to each other about, you know, relaxing, taking deep breaths, those type things, and just settling in into our game. Um, I think when we settled in defensively in the second half, um, it was pretty good. Uh, they play a lot of different lineups. Um, they don't really have no true big. You know, all their bigs can space the floor and stretch the floor. Um, so it's a lot different than what we typically play. But I think when, you know, we got our feet wet, we kind of dialed in and, and, and finally got some stops. Stevie kind of came in there in the second half and, and gave you guys a spark. You know, you've been around college basketball. You've been a good defender for a long time. What do you see in the in the young guy? Oh uh, man, this he a stud, man. Like, I mean, I know firsthand. He give me pr like hell for real in practice. Um, you know, picking me up and stuff like that. Um, but just his approach to everything um, is great. You know, he's a great kid. All he cares about is winning. Um, he hadn't played up to that point the whole game. Um, and he was, because he was in the game, you know, cheering on his teammates. He was ready when his turn came. Um, and that's good. That's that's what a team need. Um, if you want to be a good team and make, you know, deep run and, and have success, you got to have all guys, you know, locked in, all guys contributing. Um, and his contribution today was phenomenal. We needed, we needed it all. Daryl, you mentioned just National Marquette Day. How did the crowd in the second half pick you guys up? We saw a lot of you guys trying to get the crowd into it. How did their response help you guys out there? It was big. Um, you know, home court advantage in college is, is always talked about and stuff like that. Um, but I think, like I said, once we settled in, you know, start making shots, start getting some stops, um, they, they definitely influenced and helped us. Um, I think it was after Justin's first dunk. They really got into it. They got loud. Um, and I think we just carried that on from after that. But, you know, we love Marquette fans. They love us. They definitely love Shaka. Um, but it, it's good to get a win here in front of them. Daryl, you said in the second half it took a, it took a while for you guys to get your feet going um, later in the game. Justin kind of got – had a little slow of a first half but then picked it up in the second. Did you see a little bit different out of him uh, after halftime and perhaps maybe you said something to him in the locker room? Um, we just always talk to each other about being confident all the time. Um, you know, in the first half, he it w not too many of the shots that he typically make was falling. Um, but, you know, as a team, it's our job to pick him up, keep him confident. Um, in the second half, I think he got downhill, got in the paint. Um, he's seen a couple go down, and, you know, that's big for confidence. But, like I said, he came through when we needed him. Um, he played great. Daryl, you hit that big three late in the game, just with a bigger role on offense than you've, than you've had when, in your years at Maryland, how comfortable are you in those kind of pressure situations in the second half with the ball in your hands? I'm just playing basketball at the end of the day. Um, you know, I'm just out there trying to make winning plays for my team. Um, you know, this guy next to me got full confidence in me. My teammates got full confidence in me. So why not have full confidence in myself when, you know, I work on this and, you know, I don't know. Like, I've, I've been around, so I'm just out there playing basketball trying to help the team win any any, any way I can. You know that's a, that's a line from a movie. What a movie? Al Pacino. He said, Scott, I've been around, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we go. Little one. <laughs>